What is up, my mofos? It's me, Mr. Mofo. Are you guys on Xbox and would like to win 2 million runes? If you guys would like to win, all you have to do is like the video, sub to my channel, and comment giveaway. I will be picking 10 people every week. You can comment up to 3 times on every video. But let's get to the video. Elden Ring. Duplication glitch. Still working after the patch. So if you do enjoy this video, please be sure to smash the old like button. Now you will need to have a friend and a friend that can drop you whatever you want to duplicate. So you can duplicate everything that's in the rune menu. You can duplicate weapons as long as they are not upgraded at all. You can duplicate armor as long as it has the option to leave and it is not upgraded. So you see how some of these are upgraded? I cannot drop these because my friend will not be able to pick them up. So I can leave them, but if they're upgraded, he will not be able to pick them up. Now you can also drop talismans, and you can drop shields, as long as they have the option to leave. So the same thing with your armor and your helmets, I can drop them because they have the option to leave, but you never want to hit discard because you will lose them. So yes, this does also work on your talismans, and that makes it extremely easy for your friend to get all of the talismans without having to open up the map. Now both you and your friend both want to come to this trader and you want to buy the crafting kit. This is going to make it where you can craft the item in order to summon your friend. So after you buy that kit, all you have to do is go into your menu and you will have item crafting and the item that you need to craft is these right here. Now I'm going to show you three spots that you can pick up the flower that you need in order to craft it. So here's one. And these are all right here in this area at the beginning of the game. So there's two. And if you come down this way, there's one more. And this is number three. And all you have to do is rest at that side of grace and they will spawn back. Now the person that's going to be receiving the items wants to use that. And the person that's going to be giving the items wants to use this. And y'all want to have the same password. So just set your multiplayer password the same as your friends. You should see your friend's summoning sign pop up and you just want to summon him. So now we're going to switch over to the person that's going to be dropping the items and he is getting summoned. And if you do this fast enough, you will not be invaded by a tryhard. So we are going to do this kind of fast. As soon as I spawn in, I want to go into my inventory and I want to hit drop, selected, drop everything that you want to dupe over to your friend. So you can drop five at a time. And then I'm going to use this item to leave. Now pay attention to these next steps. You want to hit yes and then you want to go into the game. Go to manage game and add-ons. Go down to save data. You're going to choose the profile and hit delete from console. Do not hit delete everywhere. So all the way to the left. Do not hit delete everywhere because you will lose your game save. So delete from console. Once your friend leaves, you can pick up all of those items. You can actually pick them up as he is dropping them, and you should have all of those items. Once your friend loads back on, he should also still have all of those items because it's going to go back to an old save. Now, if I wanted to drop these back, so if we wanted to switch up, then I would need to play the game for about 10 minutes so that we do get a save. If you try to drop these back to your friend instantly, you will load back on and not have the items because it goes off of an old save. But your friend can keep on dropping them to you back to back as long as he has that good save. But as you can see, my friend still has the items. But I hope you guys did enjoy this video and I hope I was able to help you guys out. And I will talk to you mofos later.